happening between now and six is the following. Um, <clears throat> at six, we, as every Monday, have some guests. And these have been guests that are invited, or going to touch with us, or we invited. It really fluctuates, sometimes one or two people, to about seven eight, maybe a maximum ten. There's a small group of people who have an interest in the process, in the process. So they, of course they have an expectations of someone who hasn't seen anything. So it's ho hopefully useful for you. And so because of the amount of people we have and the amount of time and the amount of spaces, there are some decisions we will need to make uh, to make sure that everyone gets the chance to share something. And that means that the sharing time is a maximum of 10 minutes. And there is a limited amount of space and tech support. So far, all the other five weeks, we've managed to make it all happen. And I think we should, we should be able to do that again today. But for that, um, I need to know a few things as we go. Um, so first of all, there is a choice of about six spaces. There is this space that we can use. There is the larger container outside which is bare inside with a few lights, a few heaters and the potential to put small stools in whatever arrangement you want. Uh, we can go down and have a look if anyone is interested in using that. The, one of the main issues with the container is that the floor, you, you can't really sit or lie down on the floor because it's, it's uh, rough wood. Um, but certainly no problem working in there. Um, it's slightly colder and also there's no reception proper reception or Wi-Fi because of the metal. In this room, uh, normally two, three, sometimes four or five projects performing, and that's fine, we just arrange times and, and spaces uh, for everyone to work. Down this corridor, there's about two or three spaces as well that you can use, and again, I can take it to what kind of spaces they are. And downstairs, as you came into the reception this morning, not the reception room, but the next one, down, which is the crafts room, is also available. So, we, if, if you don't already know that you want to be here, we can go for a walk and I'll show you the other spaces. So that's space. Then there's equipment. Uh, normally when we do the assignment of tech, you then carry that through to the evening performance. But because you've done that in pairs, you can either continue to work together, there's no reason why you can't do that, or, which is what happens more often, you share that piece of technology where you actually do two different shares. It's what I'd expect most of you will do. Um, so there's only kind of an, an awareness of having a chance to rehearse uh, both of you to kind of develop your work with that piece of equipment. We are around for technical support. And alongside your development, Nacho will be pulling some of you out to a corner to do a five minute maximum interview. Uh, so please uh, help him out. And between now and six, the only formal meeting will have is at five. What happens at five is we come together and you present to the group a, a ten minute script where you read out what's going to happen in every minute of your sharing. Okay? And that's the moment when you say, in minute one, I want audiences to close their eyes and sit down. In minute two, I want them to listen to this piece of music. In minute three, I'll give them this instruction. And so on. This is an example. You might want less. So you might say, by minute five, I'll end. And by minute six, I'll pose them a question. And I'll give seven and eight for them to answer and actually. So it's however you want to structure that. But you present that. So we have an idea of the shape of this evening sharings, and we can also plot an order based on spaces and what you do. But very importantly as well, is tell Nacho how you want it recorded. Something that we are adding this week. We had a conversation with Nacho about recording, and he's very much of the thinking that the artist should decide how the work should be captured. Where there's a point of view, where there's a wide angle, where there is something that follows the journey of the audience and so on. It's something that he's happy to be improvising, but 
it would be very interesting to have the artist say, actually, in actual could you capture it like this? So we'll do that, all that at five. From now to five, it's entirely up to you how you use your time. Um, but what I'll ask you to do is consider what space you want to use as soon as we finish this right now. Any questions? So, yes. So at five will come and we say the minutes of our... You read out the script. Yeah. And then we go off and work again. And then you have hour. some time to set up, oh. yeah. 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 So you don't need to set up before five, but you need to know what's happening by five. Well, we set up by five. No, and then as soon as we finish, by the time we go around everyone reading their scripts and so on, it'll be probably 5.30 and it will give you about 20 minutes to set up. Okay, so we should be finished prior to the script, all that work. Yeah, you, you should know what's happening here, which is different to other weeks, but we, we pushed it a bit earlier today. Uh, last week as well, that works better. Okay? Any questions? I'm sure there'll be many, but we'll just carry on working. So, okay, anyone who isn't working in this room, let's go for a little tour of the building. Um, yeah.